what happens if uh, I don't have the time to, you know, do it again, right? If I don't have the time to come in and, 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 and take them out, right? Because let's say I wasn't ready, right? And he comes in, he strikes again, and I go, and now, and now, I still hit it down, okay? And so what you'll notice is that a lot of times I just will go down and come up. And that's going force to force, right? So when I'm here, sorry for the leg strike, but that's part of the bonus, right? Okay? So again, right? His stick is gone, right? So that's force to force with a little assistance, right? But what we're trying to do, pass, you're here, this already. Okay, let me get somebody else. Uh, yeah, just so that you kind of get the feel, right? So you're reaching, right? Right, boom, right? That's, okay, so I might not have time to move, right? I go, notice that? That little, that little motion made it miss, right? And so you're here, pass, there's your strike. Then this already, yeah. <laughs> you know? So let's try that. Make the strike miss, so uh, let me use you, okay? Now angle number four is coming here. So again, I don't want to step in because he's going to hit me. All right? I want to hit it down, then step in. All right? So when I do this, notice, right? This is all right? You can uh, play with it as you like, right? But what you're noticing is is how quick that hand got hit. Right? And what am I doing to this hand? Making sure it don't hit me. All right, let's turn. Also, watch my feet. Is it, it's, it's a lot to do with the feet. He strikes, right? I've already hit that hand. I'm already here, right? I don't have to worry about that hand, I just took it. This one, I have, right? Boom, boom. I lock, I kick him in the face, right? Wh whatever I want to do. Okay. If uh, you want to do a flurry of hits, you could do a flurry of hits. Right? You come through, I come in here, you, know, you can just do anything you want. Okay. But the key, what you're using is the passing. The passing makes your opening. He strikes again, right? Alright, that's pretty fast. Okay. Blade versus hand, no competition. Okay. Now, you notice I've been attacking that side. Sometimes I don't feel like attacking that side. Sometimes I feel like attacking the other side. It still strikes a four, right? I hit him from the same side that the strike came from. Okay, turn. Okay, strikes coming here. I'm already. You know, that hand's gone. You feel the sting in your hand? That's a check. <laughs> okay? That's what a check should feel like. It should feel like, oh, did he hit me with the stick? No. All right? That's my hand hitting me, right? One last time, right? I'm in right here. You know, you, you can see the way I move my feet. You know, I kind of bring down, and then I'm ready for that power. Okay? But, yeah, I'm always kind of letting the blows go by. Okay, let's try that. Many different martial arts, Chinese, Japanese, Korean, all right? Many, okay? So, a lot of them like to grab, okay? I'm not saying all systems like to grab, but some like to grab. Some like to put you in locks, okay? So, if somebody puts you in what I call the snake, everybody kind of seen that on YouTube and stuff like that, okay? 
I'm gonna do this slow so that you actually can see it and, and kind of get the mechanics of what I'm doing. Actually, we probably should face this way so that they can kind of maybe see a little better, right? Now, when I strike and he puts me in a lock, right? I come in, I go, bam, he strikes and he's got me in the lock, he's got my thumb. He comes in and he strikes, boom, I push that elbow over. My stick's already there, right? This is locking his elbow. I come in here and touch my stick. So everybody can see this, see that? Okay, see where that hand is? Okay, now, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna roll my elbow towards his face. So when I do that, you notice the stick getting put in my hand. Bam, okay? Now you see the lock? No. Oh yeah, he's locked up, okay? But, I need somebody else that is not my student to feel this. All right. <laughs> All right. I'll, I'll let you start from the lock. Okay. You have the lock. He hit me in the head. Boom. Push it over. Lock. Okay. Notice where he's at. Now he's pretty strong. And I go, ha. Now I'm stronger. See that? All yes, right. Sir. Okay. <laughs> it works. It works. Right? If I do that, everything's going to snap. Okay? So that's kind of the locks that we do. Now, I'll show another one. Just so that, because there's, there's 144 of these. I'll just show a couple. Okay? Now, let's say he strikes an angle number two. I pass. I'm here. I hyperextend, right? Now I come in and I break the knuckles and the wrist just by going like this, okay? He might strike here. Again, right? Got rid of the blow, right? I push, I lock, I grab my own stick, I got a hyperextension, okay? Did it hyperextend? It worked. It worked. All, that, that, <laughs> all right. Okay. So he has that there. Okay. He's coming from the opposite side. Notice what I did. Just like with the number four, what I do, I hit it down. It missed, right? I come in, pop. Come in here. And you see this? All right. This is already your lock. All right. You lock it on the stick or you could just let him go, right? You still have your weapon, okay? It might be different. It might be this Japanese lock, right? And he strikes, boom, he comes through again. Oh yeah, that's broken, all right? So you see that, right? Let him know if it hurts. It hurts. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> right? But you notice how I'm kind of moving, right? So let me get my student back. So I don't want to put all the pain on just one person, there, all right? <laughs> so when, when we're doing this, it just gives you an idea, okay? A lot of these strikes, when we're here and he's striking, and I come in here and I do this, that's kind of already holding it in place. I can stick my hand in from underneath, boom, hit him in the face, change hands now, right? So now I have that one, he can't with tick because huh? the stick is there, right? What do I do? I do this, right? I do that. Oh, yeah. Oh, thank you. Oh, yeah. Right, right, right. Oh, 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 oh. Right, okay. So it gives you an idea. You lock them up, all right? So that's, that's some of the stuff we do. Uh, these locks, when I'm doing these and he's striking, you notice what I'm doing. This is right on the Golgi tendon, all right? Notice how I'm holding him, all right? This here, if I want to break the arm, I just keep pushing. If I step back, then you can see how I'm displaying him, all right? The, uh, have him here, he stabs, boom, get it out of the way. Lock it, right? So he can't get away, see that? He's still holding on to that one, but I'm gonna break this one. 
All right, so you see that? Okay. All right, I'm holding on. He pulls. He, he can pull. All right. And I go, break. All right. Come in here, grab this, come straight down, and break. Okay. The, that's the locking system of the Romeo. Uh, some of the other things that we like to do is uh, free flow. <coughs> So it's up to you guys to make yourself ambidextrous, all right? Now this is a simple drill. It has three moves, a 12, an eight, and a five. 12, eight, five. I strike 12, eight, five. He strike 12, eight, five, all right? So we're gonna go slow, right? He goes, 12, I give him an 8, he gives me a 5. Now notice I block with the back of my blade. Okay, so. Just so that you can see the, the relationship, right? You always got to know about the blade, right? So, 12, 8, he's 5. He comes back to the blade, I check. I give him a 12, he gives me an 8. You know? And so a lot of times, you know, we're in here, you know, so I, I'm here, you know, I go here, I go 12, 12, right, 12, 12, 12, right, and so you notice that, you know, you know, he hasn't done this with me in maybe a year, right, but, oh yeah, that's right, but you notice I free flow, right, so you learn how to free flow. Now, are you always gonna have two weapons? No, he might have two, you might only have one. So, you still gotta be able to free flow with him. So, so we're still doing that. I'm oh, 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 <laughs> right, so you have to be able to free flow and use any hand. You know, you, and then uh, when you're playing, and you know, everybody knows how to do heaven and earth, right? Double sticks. How many people know how to disarm that with a single stick? Raise your hand. Okay, so we'll go to heaven and earth. Oh, right. And you're doing this, right? Huh? See that? I'm already in here. Right? Pull back and no, you don't. <laughs> right? So now notice, I don't rehearse anything. You know, if you can't do it on demand, you don't know it. Right? So again, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Boom! Oh, they come over. They come in. I'm disarming. So it just gives you an idea. Now, sometimes you might take the simplest route. You know, he starts heaven and earth, and you go, take them both. <laughs> right? Never thought about that, right? Those hands have to cross at one time. When they cross, they're both yours. Right? So it just gives you an idea. <coughs> now, disarming. Uh, single stick. All right, when, when, when you see me doing this army, right, and I'm in here, you know, it's always going to be quick, right? Comes in, right? So you notice I, I, when I'm doing this arms, they're very subtle. All right, when he strikes here, and I go, and I go, I try not to use 
my strength, they used his strength. 